Hello, everybody. I lost my footage from today. Half of it, anyways. I have no idea where it is. I'm pretty sure I didn't delete it. I am positive I filmed it. I went to go take it off my memory card here, and the memory card's empty. I looked through all my records on the computer, and it's not on the computer, so I wonder if I formatted my card by accident? But I always check to make sure that there's no footage on there for it. Maybe I didn't this time. Anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, we had a couple of days at home. So we got home from that load with the reels uh, on Tuesday night, right? So I went home on Wednesday and I filmed this whole half day of us going home, getting home, and then explaining to you how the plans have changed. I don't have any of that footage, so I'm just going to get you up to speed now. And then the rest of my day, like I had half of my day as I was getting the truck ready, but the stuff at home. No idea, so I'll, I'll fill you in here. So, you know, always plan for the plan to change. Our plan was to take those reels through to Kitchener, Ontario. I had to leave on Friday, and I had to deliver Monday morning. Everything was all worked out, I had tied it down, uh, ready to go. I got a phone call on uh, Wednesday afternoon uh, with a change of plans, which is, which is fine. So we're on a different trip instead. So instead of going down to uh, Kitchener, Ontario, we're hooking onto a different trailer, which is a better load for me, and we're taking it down to Arizona. We're gonna go down to the desert. So I haven't been to Arizona in oh, who knows how long. I don't even know if I've been, I can't remember the last time I was there in my truck. The last time I went through there was on my way to VidCon in California about 10 years ago, I think. So it's been a long time. It's long overdue that I go see the desert. So this load came up, they asked if I wanted it. It's, it's better for me than the other one. I'm gonna have to tarp it. Uh, I'm already well on my way on that trip, so I'm sort of filming this in advance because I was gonna put it together and I realized all my footage was gone. But whatever, so uh, it's gonna be three days down there, headed down, and then who knows what my reload will be coming back up. But that's to catch you up to speed. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. This has happened to me before in the past. Those of you who followed me for the past 10 years, every once in a while this happens where my footage just mysteriously disappears. It was probably my fault. I probably deleted it or I probably uh, formatted my card or I uploaded it or I, I transferred it into the wrong folder on the computer and then, you know, cleared out that folder and deleted it to make space for new stuff. Didn't realize that that footage hadn't been edited into a video yet. Mistakes happen. So, uh, Made a mistake there. So now you know uh, that trip to Kitchener got cancelled. Well, it didn't get cancelled. Uh, someone else is going to take it. So I've got to go and take my equipment off of that load because someone else is going to put their equipment on it. Tie down the new load, tarp it, and then point my nose far south. I'm looking forward to it. So here's the rest of the footage that I had from the day as I was getting the truck ready. Uh, it's going to be a very short video today. But tomorrow we leave on the, on the big one. I hope you tune in. Uh, I'm gonna be filming every single day as we go down. It's gonna be a lot of new sights, maybe a lot of old memories, who knows? I'll see you then. I'm going to Arizona, so I figured I should stock myself up on water. I thought that made sense. It's supposed to be hot there. So it's the following day again. Still gotta do these when I have a chance. Gotta refurbish those wheels. Those are the winter tires for my wife's vehicle. Oh well, yeah, we are uh, getting Old Blue ready now to leave. That'll be in tomorrow's video. Getting some, I uh, bought some extra water to bring along. Um, got our route figured out. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be going down uh, around Colorado through Albuquerque, New Mexico. But again, I'll let you know tomorrow. Let me know down below what route you would take through Wyoming, through Colorado, or through Albuquerque. They're all within about 20 miles of each other and distance wise, so they're all about the same. We'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna continue getting everything loaded up here and uh, get all blue started. Go get my trailer. I still have to tarp it apparently. I think I told you that already, right? So that was yesterday. Today, I've, so, and it's kind of raining today, so that's fun. Don't worry, we can do that in tomorrow's video. Okay, you might be wondering where I put everything. <laughs> Loading up the truck is a act of Tetris skill. So all of my water goes down there. I've got five cases down there now. 
I got my tools down there. I've also got my jump starter in case my batteries die. Got my cooler right here. And uh, this is sort of my desk where I have my paperwork. A few things back there on the bed, not too much. I don't like to keep my bed too cluttered, but sometimes it does get cluttered. I had time to organize everything properly this time. And to be honest, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> When you drive a W900, you drive a W900 because you love the truck and you love the industry. And you love the job. You don't drive a W900 for comfort. Unless you got a big studio sleeper, then you sort of get a pinch of comfort as well because you got like a bigger sleeper. But I just have like the, the flat top uh, 73 inch, no 72 inch sleeper. So it's enough for me. It's a one person truck. Two people in here would be very squishy. Even if I brought my kid along in here one day, it would be pretty squishy. So maybe by that time we'll be able to put a bigger sleeper on or oh, we'll figure it out because I'll, I'll figure out a way for him to come with me on the road if, you, if that's what he wants to do. Uh, I've got to give him that experience that I had when I was a kid, right? That, that was some fun times. And I want to teach him about the industry, teach him about trucking, how to do it properly, like I was taught. So I'm going to get everything ready to go here, catch my breath. We're going to make an effort to stay in shape on this trip down to Arizona. It's going to be three days and a bit to get there. So today, when I'm ending this vlog, this was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm ending this on Friday. We're going to start tomorrow's vlog on Friday today as well. So we're going to drive part of the day today, Friday, and then all day Saturday, all day Sunday, like half to three quarters of the day on Monday, depending on how much we drive today. I might even get unloaded Monday afternoon. I'm going to try. We'll see if I can get there. If not, we'll get unloaded Tuesday morning in uh, what is it, Tona, is that pronounced right? Tona, Arizona, just west of Phoenix. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it and I hope you guys join me. It's gonna be a trip on down to the desert. Canadian in the desert. I'm already thinking of titles for my vlogs. I'm terrible with titles. My, my wife is, she's great with titles. She's got that cleverness in her head. I'm not very good with titles. So she was suggesting like desert bound or something. We gotta tie in something like uh, Canuck in the desert or something, desert Canuck or We'll, we'll figure out some some clever titles for this next coming trip, but it should be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of new scenery. Hope you guys tune in, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. It all starts in tomorrow's video. Hit that bell so you get notified when it goes live. They usually go live at 4 p.m. Central Time here, at least Monday to Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well. If you hit that bell, you'll know when it goes live and you'll be able to watch it. I'll see you later, everybody.